Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on a behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important software. Name as OCR CMS for PC. So basically, in this video, we are going to describe you that what actually the OCR software is, what are its feature function, what are its minimum system requirements, and then we'll tell you how you get the file, how you install the file, how you install the, how you configure the software to make the camera live. So keep watching. Please like, share our video, and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one. Please. Press the bell icon so that you get all the upcoming notifications. So basically, OCR CMS for PC is a CMS, means it is a software which is used to connect as well as control the CGV camera on PC. This is the software program for monitoring the CGV cameras on your laptop screen or computer screen. It is used is also used to monitor the cameras on the remote location over the internet and it is also known as this uh, CMS or uh, VMS uh, this software is designed and manufactured by Provision IHR it is an Israeli company that was established in 2007 the company has launched its product in the medium segment. It has many CCTV cameras, IP cameras, DVR, NVRs, and surveillance series. And the series are very satisfactory. Now let us cut about features and functions. Then you can see you are able to access the live view of the camera. You can see the multiple channels at a time. You watch the you watch the recording of the cameras. You take the snapshot of the videos. You control the PDZ camera. You save the live view of the camera. You can adjust the image parameter like brightness, color, etc. to take a backup of the recorded videos. You can control the quality of video recording and many more. If we are discussing about it feature, if we are discussing about minimum system requirement, then you should have at least Windows 7, 8 or 10 or even 11. But I don't recommend using Windows 7 because this is discontinued by Microsoft and you have at least 4 GB of RAM and have and have core i5 processor or equivalent processor in other companies and finally you should have at least 500 mb of hard drive free space free on your hard drive it means that this software installation don't take too much while installation but when you see the live video you may want to record on your pc when you see the live video you may want to take a snapshot on on the, on the pc so for that you should have at least 500 MB of software, 500 MB of free space on your hard drive. Now what should you do that you should open any browser or in my case I using Google Chrome so I go for the Chrome browser and just click the search for OCR. CMS for PC and press enter when I do that here at the top of the list one of the my favorite web website is there just open the link and this is called only till you here you find uh, option for Windows and Mac download option for Windows and Mac just click on the Windows option because in my case I am using Windows 10 so I just go for the windows option and it will redirect you a next page where you have to wait for a 10 second and after that your download button is enabled now just click on this when you click on this it start downloading and it is 223 MB file so it take time so let let the download to be complete and after that will tell you that how you get how you install the file and how you can configure the software to make the camera live not only the camera live but also access all the features that we are just discussing earlier in this video so keep watching and let the download to be finished
now it is downloaded just click on show in folder and now click when you click on this option it will redirect you to download page and here is a is our downloaded file the right click on the downloaded file and try to extract when you click on extract and the structure extract is successful then you get the folder with the same file name so here is our folder that will create automatically after extraction and again open the folder here you find that you this is our application file or a exe file or a solar file so right click on this application file and click as run as administrator now click yes again click ok now it is preparing to install now click next now it is installing the file now it is installed successfully now you should click this launch software option because when you click this then such software will automatically open otherwise it don't now this is the login screen of the software so just here you should enter the default password and click login and the first thing you should do this is the interface of the software okay and the first thing you should do that you should try to find a resource management option here you find the resource management option just click on this here you have a lot of option but what should you do that you should try to find the option add here is add just click on this when you click on this and after that you find a uh, two thing two or more thing here like quickly add manually add auto reports and out, on, unbound auto report device okay so if your dvr uh, or nvr or ip device you are adding in your laptop or your computer screen is connected to the same network then you should click on the quickly add when you click on the quickly add here you find that all detail like name and ip address modify ip address automatically in the here but in the case if, if you want to add by using a remote location or your dvr is or your device is on remote location then you should click on manually add when you click on manually add you find a lot of option like ip address ip range domain serial number url many more and these five option okay so if you have a i want to add using ip address then just click on this both for a static ip and a local ip and if you want uh, by using uh, adding a your uh, device by using a serial number then you should click on serial number serial number is the is the number that you get on by logging on to your device and go to the the setting option the network option then the net option when when you click on the net option over there you find this option okay so in my case i just take ip address because i want to connect by using a ip static ip so just i just entered my static ip and here i should enter uh use port numbers username and password so when i click on the password i just please note that this is the port number username username and password these are the username and password port number of the device means device you are adding whether it is dvr nvr or ip cam and just click on the test when you click on the test here you find that the option is enabled you you get the successful text succeed option notification and click okay and then then click okay when you click on okay you find that your uh, uh, device is blurred but it when you it's come online that it is enabled means 
so this is totally depend on the internet speed at your site and there you uh, the, and your device side so here you find all that in detail like software version and the model number everything and after that just close the resource management option and go to the live view and here is the live view and here is your device okay so just double click on the any uh, device here you find the option okay so This is all for your uh, this this device. So keep watching.